Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in again, and also thanks very much for all the kind messages. I, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so what are we doing today? Okay, we're going to be talking about these. These are the jeans that I mentioned last time. These are the Levi's vintage clothing. They're the 1890s model. And I'm going to split this up into like three bits because apparently I talk too much and apparently that bugs some of you. So yeah, instead of droning on about these over one long vlog, I'll just take it into one. And so yeah, I want to talk about these jeans. And this isn't just one pair of jeans for today this is three pairs of jeans okay these are all Levi's vintage clothing they're all the 1890s models that might seem a little bit excessive and it is a little bit excessive but there's a reason behind it so right these are the first ones I got these are legitimate, they come with the tags, they come with the leather patch on the back, they come with the size tags, they come with this little letter. I'll show you what's in the letter next vlog. Um, yeah, uh, these are waist 32, waist 32, sorry, waist 32, leg 32, which is my size in every other Levi's ever, but not these ones apparently. There's like this much, they're, they're this much too small, which is... Yeah, more than I want to diet, put it that way. So I was like, ah, okay, shit, it's always like a, it's always a risk when you buy something on eBay that it's not going to fit. I'm just like, okay, fair enough. Uh, they're in really good nick, they're brand new. Um, everything's with them, they're just, I'm going to keep them for the collection. For one thing, they're, they're Cole Mills denim, which is no longer with us anymore. So it's a good one to have in the collection. Anyway, so... Even though I was disappointed, I'm like, yeah, just keep looking out, but you've got other jeans to wear. The next ones, the next ones were these ones. These are almost more interesting because they're a bit of a mystery jean. So again, this is an eBay purchase. I couldn't find the 1890s in any of the Levi stores, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, um, eBay purchase, which also makes it a bit cheaper, which is good. I did notice when I was buying them, the, the girl who was selling them to me was totally fair enough and totally honest with the pictures. It was missing the leather patch. This can happen if they are... What would, what would be the reason? I don't know if they're send, selling them off end of season or they're selling them off on batch. Um, they don't want them to get returned to the stores. So they remove the leather patch and they also have, yeah, just here they've scrubbed over with some sort of silver marker, the Levi's print here, but on the other pockets where there should be sort of the Levi's branding, um, that's just not there at all. The other thing is you'll be able to see here, denim's very, very different. It's actually also a heavier denim. I'd say this is probably around about uh, 12 ounce and this is a 10 ounce. Um, the selvage ID is white, so that's that's right. Um, the red selvage ID didn't come in until later with the Levi's. There's some other few inconsistencies as well. So yeah, on the inside here, there's, there's overlocking, which there isn't on these. Is there overlocking the inside of... Yeah, again, no overlocking. So the reason there was no overlocking in these repros is that overlocking machines weren't invented till much later. So this is actually much more uh, authentic, as it were. And so yeah, on the inside of these ones, overlocking. Uh, everything else kind of fits in. There's the cinch back. Um, all of the hardware looks like Levi's. This uh, buckle is Levi's. The rivets are Levi's. There's no stamp on the inside of the buttons. My guessing 
my guessing, my guess. My guess is that these are were a sample pair just to see if the fit was okay. Um, or maybe for going out to trade shows and things like that, where they didn't have this denim ready yet, or they didn't have access to it, whatever. But so all the details are there, there's just some inconsistencies. The biggest thing was that, I mean, I would have totally worn these, but they just don't fit me. They're enormous. They're like, they're super, super long. Um, I don't really know how, let's see. So these are 95 centimeters long, whatever that is in inches. I'll work that out in a second. Anyway, that's, that's, that's way too long. That's like that much longer than they have to be. They're also massive in the waist. They're more like a 38 waist than a 34. And so, yeah, even with shrinkage and even, yeah, I could hand them quite easily. Um, but even with all that, they were just going to be too big and yeah, so it's like, okay, I've got kind of another interesting pair of jeans here that I can't wear, but fair enough. So they went on to the collection pile as well. And that was a year ago. Now, I still was keeping a look at it every so often, but not really expecting to find anything. But on the sort of German version of eBay, these popped up. So, the 1890s, they seem to have all the bits and pieces with them. I uh, still got the leather patch on. Couldn't really tell from the pictures, but uh, the denim looked light, so I was guessing it was going to be the right denim. Um, and they were also for a very good price, so I was quite happy. And they turned up and they're pretty much perfect. They are, I don't know. So they've got no bell loops on them. They're like, bell loops didn't come on until much later. So they've got suspended butters, which means they have to fit me pretty tight around the waist. Otherwise my ass is going to end up hanging out. So I'm hoping that with the shrink, they're going to get a little bit tighter. The problem with that is that it might mean that I'm going to lose too much length on the legs. But we'll see. They're going to be a summer jean anyway. Because um, it's very lightweight denim. It's only 9 ounce, which is pretty much like shirting denim. Um, yeah, we just have to see with that. Um, I'm not too concerned if they do. I'll just like cuff them up a little bit higher and yeah, summer denim. It's gonna be perfect for that. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop there before I do drone on a little bit too much. In the next one, in the next one I'm gonna go through the details of these jeans in particular, what makes them an 1890s pair, um, what you get with them, what's in this envelope and then the last one, I'm going to shrink them down and I'm going to do a couple of particular things that I like to do to these, these old style jeans. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, still haven't figured out how to stop these things ever. So I'm just going to say, take care of each other, especially now. It's fucking weird times. Make sure that everybody's uh, healthy and safe and um, guys, keep in touch and um, yeah. I'll see you in the next vlog.